Hi everyone, this is Nat Stevens. I'm one of the moderators of the EVO, Electronic Village Online, Minecraft MOOC 2021 session. And um, we're one of the EVO sessions, Electronic Village Online. This is uh, the home page of Electronic Village Online is evosessions.pbworks.com. And this session runs from January 9th to February 14th. And if you go to that page, you'll find more information about it. Uh, we've put in a proposal for it. Uh, as you can see from back here, the proposals are actually not quite accepted yet. Uh, it's um, just early November when I'm writing, when I'm doing this. So anyway, uh, our proposal though looks like this, and uh, it will tell you to how to join our group if you want to join us and learn about Minecraft. So you'll fill out a registration form so that we can um, whitelist you on our server. You'll join this Facebook page and you go to missionsforminecraft.pbworks.com. So the Facebook page, anybody can join at any time, looks like this. And um, so this is, shows some things that people are doing in our group. Um, let's see. Um, Minecraft looks like this. And the uh, missions for Minecraft, that is missionsforminecraft.pbworks.com, is this page. So that's one of the pages that you need to go to. This is Minecraft 2021. And it has information here about how you uh, can join us, your first steps. You have to fill in the registration form, which we haven't yet created for 2021, but you need that for, in order for us to whitelist you on the server. You have to purchase Minecraft. There's a link there that takes you to Mojang, uh, uh, the company that makes it. And uh, you have to have, you have to get the Java version and once you've paid the one-time cost, then you can download any software you want, all the software you want, including server software. So then you want to connect with us on the 2021 server. Now in our sidebar, there's the same information, there's server information here, or you can click there to get it. So if you click on the server information, then it shows you that we're running 1.16.2. Some of the screenshots are 1.16.1, so don't be confused. And we might change that. Uh, it could be that Aaron, our uh, server guy, might upgrade that. So anyway, right now we're running 1.16.2. So whatever version we're running, this applies. So uh, when you launch Minecraft, um, it's going to suggest that you play. And this one happens to be running uh, the right version, or it was the right version. If I wanted to change that now, uh, I would have to go up to installations in the top of my initial screen. And when you go there, you can then choose one, or you can click New to get a new installation. If you click that, then it asks you to create a new installation by naming it. You can call it anything you want. Here you have to pull. You have to tell it what version you want. So uh, the latest release now is 1.16.4 or 5. I don't know how far up they've gone, but anyway, uh, we're, uh, you pull down the uh, this bar to get to select the installations that are available, and you really need 1.16.2 nowadays. Okay, so the screenshots were a little bit out of date. So now we've got the correct installation and when you've got the installation you want, 1.16.2, you can then click create and once you've done that you can play it. So as long as you've got the 1.16.2 you can play it. And this is when you bring up your, when you run Minecraft now, you'll see this. You'll see the server information and you'll see play. So when you click play, I'm going to show you what happens. Okay, so I'll put that back up to the top so we'll have a 
nice logos showing. Go back to the wiki. There we go. Okay, there's our. So you you know where you are. Okay, so now we're going to play Minecraft. So once you run run it, notice that right here I've got 1.16.2. I don't know which, what arrows you can see, but I want to play multiplayer, not single. You can play single player, but if you want to play with us, you have to play multiplayer. So when I've chosen that, then I can choose the server I want, and. I've named this. I'll show you how I've configured it. You have to configure it yourself. Uh, you To configure it, you have to uh, add the server. This is the address you want, mc.evomc.net. So that's the server address. And you can call it whatever you like. I've called it EVO Minecraft Server. Okay, so once you've given just basically the address of the server, then you're ready to play. And then you can select it. If it comes up red, uh, sorry, green like this, then you notice this one, by the way, it says 1.16.3 server. I'm in the wrong version, so, or maybe even once 1.16.4, I don't know, anyway. But if you got the right version, you're good to go, you got green there, so you join the server. Okay, here we go. All right. Now, here's something I'm going to do. Okay, I've got. I'm waiting for it to load in. Okay. Now, once you load your server, you should click on the forward slash. I'm going to. There it is, right down there. I don't know if you can see this, but that's the forward slash. And when you click that, you get some instructions here. This set of instructions. It's the one, two, three, fourth line down. View the server map from the web. If you run over that and click on it here, and then say yes, open it in a browser, it opens in your browser like this. And it shows you where you are on our map, on our server. So uh, I can, you can scroll to expand. Okay, so this is the general area we're in right now. I happen to be here, but I want to go to the spawn point because that's where I want to show you how to get started. So I might just go out and commit suicide and see if I can spawn around there. So let me just do that. Uh, okay, I see by the time, it's kind of a good time to be spawning. It's uh, 5.30 in the morning by Minecraft time. It's moving on. The sun is kind of up. Uh, I'm going to exit the screen right here by hitting escape. And now I'm ready to play. So I'm just going to go open the door. I'm going to walk out the door. There could be monsters out here. They could kill me. Uh, I'm, like I said, I'm going to try to commit suicide here. So I'm just going to, I'm going to try to respawn. You know, something I didn't, I didn't, um, I didn't remove my bed spawn. I'm going to spawn back in my bed unless I remove my bed. So this is where I slept last night. So this would be the place that I spawn. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so I'm going to put that there. Stick it in a chest. Okay, so now then. So I've removed my bed spawn, so when I spawn, I'll be I'll spawn back at the spawn point. It's kind of good if you can see the process I'm going through here. So I'm in the game already, but what I want to try to do is go back to the spawn point. So I'm just going to take a walk here and as you can see on the map, I'm just wandering around, and here's a whoa! Oh! Oh, I fell in water. Okay. Oh, darn. Okay. How lucky I am. Okay, I didn't. Oh, there's a zombie there. Okay, there's a zombie there. Where did, where did he go? Here, there's a whole bunch of zombies here. Oh, they're so lucky they've got me right there. Okay, surely they're going to kill me. Oh, okay, I died. So now I'm going to respawn. There we are. Okay, look, you can see where I am on the map. You see where I moved next to that little uh, dot there, the little green dot on the map? This is a spawn point. When you, when you come to the game for the first time, you've spawned just like this. Now, we happen to be here very lucky because, as you can see from my map, let's see if I can show it to you, it's almost 8 o'clock in the morning. We have another 10 hours in Minecraft time to find out where we're going to go. If you have put the map on your screen, you can see where you are, and you can see 
there's a beach here and a path there so you can you can zoom in and you can see where you might want to go so um, that's very handy to have a map okay so that's where we are right now uh, somebody's got a home in there okay well we could we could maybe go pass by that home and see what's there so you could very easily end up right there so let's so you would be, you would come you would enter our game for the first time somewhere near there so there's somebody who's just set a home right here I guess they just spawn there let's see in inside here maybe there's somebody's got a home I don't know but oh it's got some steps no yeah there's there's somebody's home right there yeah somebody's made a little place here so there's a shelter so if you were stuck you could find that shelter okay uh, I'm going to, but the thing you need to do when you come into the game is you need to chop down trees. You need to find things, and it's very f frustrating when you're there for the first time, the very first time in the game. Um, there's there's some trees over there, so you could probably no trees. Yes, I think there are some trees there. Yes, you could. There's some trees you could get. You can cut down a tree. Um, so if you went over there let's see to, to swim you come to a river and then you press the space key to make you jump and you swim across the water and there you are so um, so there's some trees if you they look like trees they are trees yes okay so if you want to chop down a tree you could you just um, you just I, I don't think I'm gonna chop down this beautiful tree but, but you can easily do that by just um, Let's see. Okay, maybe I'll take a, this little thing right there. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to get that block of wood, and you walk over to pick it up. There it is. I've got it right here. Ah, torches. I wonder where they go. Let's see. Let's let's see where we are on the map. So if you came upon a torch trail, you might want to follow it. So you might want to get a lot of blocks of wood. I'm not really going to show you here how to really get started in Minecraft. I'm not really going to show you survivor skills, but what I'm trying to do is just show you how you can uh, how you can get the map so that you can orient yourself on our server. So we started at that green dot here that says spawn and then we're uh, going to follow that torch trail and actually spoiler alert, it's going to take you to a little place that Bobby Bear and I have set up. I'm Teacher Vance and if you follow the torches you'll um, you'll s uh, follow this big mine. It looks like a huge mine. Kind of a daunting place. There's fire down there too. Okay. So, um, but let's follow the torches. Oh, look, there's a tower there. That could be helpful. So, you can be observant and see things that you might uh, might help you. Uh, oh, look what this! There's a there's a very happy looking shelter here. Sure enough. Okay, inside here, uh, you'll find in various places on this map. Let me just expand the map a little bit for you. Okay, so you'll find various places where you'll find paths, and you'll find you can see some paths here, and there's a shelter up there for example and something someone else has built so you can look on the map and you can see where you might go I might show you a little bit about these places later on in another tutorial but just for right now just to show you how you might get f uh, find things around the spawn point there's a huge forest over here we'll go look at it in a minute because that's a really good place where you could get trees so lots of trees over here um, we have time it's a uh, only one o'clock in the afternoon. The sun is almost overhead. The sun goes down in the west. You can see a, a compass here. So the west is pointing that way. You can find out which direction you're looking by pressing the F3 key on your in your game. So if I press F3 up here on a laptop, it's FN F3. And you can see that 
is hard to show you, but it's uh, below the XYZ where it says block chunk facing west. You see that? So the way to go to the west, is that's the where the setting sun will be. So F3 toggles that on and off. Um, let me show you. You might find some things in the uh, chests. Sometimes we'll leave things lying around there, but in general, the chests inside are belong to people. Like I put all my stuff in here, so I'm going to get it back. And uh, there's the bed that I just I'm put that bed back down and use it as a spawn point. You can sleep on the beds. If you sleep on the bed, it becomes your spawn spawn point. If uh, you shouldn't take the beds because if you take the beds, you might be removing someone else's spawn point, and that's not very very nice. Okay, so the torches kind of lead you out here. There's a garden here, which is very handy. You know, and a, you you can find actually this is this is our uh, community share chest. We have a number of them set up by the gardens around the server, and so you can take carrots or you can harvest carrots. So if you if you want to harvest carrots, you can just I'm left clicking on them. It looks like actually a lot of these carrots have been. I, d I don't see that the carrots have been uh, replanted. So I've got 15 carrots. If you take carrots, you should replant. So now I'm I've selected the carrots in my toolbar, and I'm right clicking to plant them. So if you take carrots, you should replant. Um, 64 carrots in here is a lot of carrots, so if you needed more, you could take a few carrots. Uh, let's see, I'm right clicking to take some and leave some others. So we'll have lots of carrots here because um, we're growing carrots all over the, the server. Carrots will help feed you. You can see right now that I've got lots of hearts. When you, when you respawn, you have full hearts. If we follow this, the um, um, follow the torches out here. Um, well, basically you can see there's a forest out here. So uh, in the forest you can get trees. Uh, let's see, maybe come over this way to get some trees. Don't get lost. Uh, there's, well, there's some torches showing you where some trees are. Uh, so there's some jungle logs here. So you could just pick a tree if you want. You could chop down that tree. Um, oh, there's a, uh oh, that was a, um, an Enderman. Endermen are quite dangerous. Only if you look at them. If you look at them, they will, um, attack you. Let's see now. I'm not sure if I'm, I might be getting a little bit lost here. I'm not really sure. Uh, I think that's where I was. But, uh, nope, I'm going the wrong way. Okay, so that Enderman put me off. Okay, there's a torch, so I thought I was looking right at him, but, uh, you know, by the way, I saw that I was going the wrong way and that way. Now you can see that I'm coming back the right way. So if you keep a map going, then you can, um, you can find your way. So I can see torches over there. I can also see it's getting quite late, actually. Uh, that could be wh why the Enderman was about. Fortunately, I guess I didn't look right in his eyes, so I'm going to um, to go back into the shelter. Shelter is a very good place to be at night. Uh, you you can build your own shelter, and we'll teach you how to do that later. So when you go exploring on the server, you can build your own server, uh, your own shelters. But for right now, you can pick a bed, and you can. Uh, you can sleep on it. You see what time it is? It's 1913 over here on the clock, 1920. So that's about the time you can go to sleep. Um, so I think we're going to go to sleep now. And uh, that's the end of our first day surviving on the server. And I hope this gives you some tips for doing that. So uh, this is Teacher Vance in Penang, Malaysia, uh, signing off. And thank you very much. Hope you enjoy playing with us. You come into our server, you can play our game uh, with us, and we'll teach you how to get along really well in Minecraft and also um, 
learn how you can use this with your students because it makes a really compelling environment. Okay, so a new day has dawned. I'm going to have another lesson for the new day. We just woke up, you see. We're the only ones on the server. Actually, when one person goes to sleep, then it, uh, it becomes dawn again. Okay, bye-bye, everybody.